What's up guys? Now, if you would like to see me transform this stock IS300 into a 600 wheel horsepower monster, then subscribe now, cause you're not gonna wanna miss this. So this is it, this is the big project car, the IS300. It's been really well looked after. It took me a long time to find one that had been looked after the way this one had. It's been serviced every single year. It's got about 100,000 miles on it. And uh, yeah, it's green. Now, I didn't originally want green, but uh, the color's definitely grown on me because as you could see, it's uh, sort of like a pearlescent paint. So when the sun's out, it really does just look amazing. Uh, you can see all the flakes in the paint there. It looks so cool. And I think when I get some uh, decent wheels for it, uh, some gold or bronze wheels, I think is gonna look best with this, then it's gonna look really, really awesome. Definitely needs lowering because although it did come with a sporty suspension on this, it's uh, quite high. Yeah, you can definitely fit my shoe in. It's got a, well, it's a stock exhaust, but it has been changed because it, the old one was rusty. Uh, I don't know what this has just been sort of fabbed up by somebody. It's got a massive silencer on it and uh, it sounds pretty boring. So I hope you would agree that with this pearlescent style paint and some hyper bronze wheels that a neon kit is absolutely gonna happen. I'm a strong supporter of the movement Bring Neons Back. Yep, Fast and Furious, whatever, say what you want, but it's definitely happening. Payless and green, gold looking wheels, and gold neons. I think that would look absolutely insane. This right here is exactly why I bought this car. It's a legend, the 2JZ, GE though, so no turbo for this one. That is absolutely gonna change. I am 100% gonna turbo this engine. I can picture it right now. Nice chrome intake, painted valve covers. I don't know what color yet. Big turbo. Okay, so here's the plan for this car. Okay, this is just a basic overview of what I call phase one. It's just all the basic mods that I'm gonna do. First of all, coilovers, then brakes, then exhaust, then finally wheels and tires. All right, so let's break this down just a little bit further. I've already ordered some BC Racing RS coilovers with uh, 12 and 10 spring rates. I've already got some hard race roll center adjusters. And while I've got everything apart, I might as well just replace the upper and lower ball joints, which I've already got as well. I'm just waiting for the BC coilovers to arrive. Here are the upper ball joints, lower ball joints. Just got a ball joint splitter here for taking the old ones out. And we got some roll center adjusters. As for brakes, I've actually already got the LS400 front calipers. I've just got to strip them, sandblast them, paint them, and get all new parts and stuff for them. Got to go with some EBC Turbo Groove discs, uh, EBC yellow stuff pads, uh, stainless steel brake lines, and some eccentric insets. These are to do with the conversion for the LS400 calipers. Basically, it's just a little off-center hole for the insert so that it fits onto the IS300. So here are the LS400 calipers I got. They are huge compared to the IS300 ones. Uh, like I said, we have still got the old pads in there. I'm gonna take all of this out, get all new hardware for them, get new seals, um, sandblast them paint them and uh, they're gonna look awesome. I'm gonna go for a quiet uh, exhaust this time uh, just because this is my daily car at the moment and I leave for work early. This is gonna change when we move on down the line to uh, bigger power. But for now, I've got these two exhausts in mind, HKS Higher pa High Power Silent and the Tanabe Medallion Touring. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna pick yet, but I'm leaning more towards the Tanabe. Now we come to wheels. I'm gonna get some Cosmos Racing XT006Rs. 
Uh, I actually got this idea from uh, Evan Ortega. I'll link his channel below. He's done some really cool stuff to his RS300. He's got the uh, like chrome looking ones, but I'm gonna get the hyper bronze because I really think it's gonna go well with the green color of my car. They're 18 by nines, uh, which means I'm probably gonna have to end up rolling the fenders at some point uh, with a plus 35 offset. This is enough to clear the LS400 front calipers, so we're all good there. So here are the wheels I'm talking about. I think they're really gonna look cool with the green. And although I'm going for a gold theme, I think that the gold ones are just a little bit too full on and I think they're gonna take away from the color of the car. So I think the hyper bronze ones are just gonna balance the car out a little bit more. As for tires, I'm probably just for now gonna go for 225.45. Uh, this this will change in the future again when we get more power. Uh, probably end up going with some T1Rs or, or triple ARs. Look at that disgusting automatic gearbox. That has definitely got to go. All right, so phase two is gonna be a manual swap. Now this is gonna cost just as much money as phase one. <laughs> this is gonna be a slow process. Um, I'm thinking about doing all the phase one stuff this year in 2021, but in 2022, this is gonna happen. I did think about going with the J160 box uh, from the IS200, but it's just not gonna support the amount of power that I'm looking to make. Uh, so I'm gonna go with the R154. Uh, I'll have to order this in from Japan, but that shouldn't be a problem. For the power I wanna make in the future, I'm gonna have to go with a pretty strong clutch that can hold a lot of torque, so spec clutch stage five, maybe, maybe something else. We'll just have to see when the time comes. Obviously, I'm gonna need a drive shaft and a bunch of other parts, but when I eventually do do it, I'm obviously gonna list everything that I'm gonna need. Phase three is where all the power is gonna be made. It's gonna be an absolutely huge project. I haven't figured out whether I wanna do a GE build uh, or a GT swap yet, but I'm, I don't think there's gonna be much difference in price, to be honest, so I think I'm leaning towards building the GE. This is my goal, 600 wheel horsepower. Uh, it's a lot of power. It's gonna cost a lot of money to build an engine that can withstand this amount. I think it'll probably make a lot more based on what I have planned. I'm thinking probably 700 at the wheels plus, but the goal is 600 at the wheels. Obviously, this is gonna involve some very expensive forged internals. Uh, so this is what I've got on the list so far, and there is a lot more than this. CP pistons, manly rods, BC264 cams, springs and retainers, ARP head studs, GTE head gasket, 1200cc injectors, Borg Warner 64mm turbo, Link G4 Plus or AEM ECU, I haven't decided yet. Uh, nice inlet manifold, Warboro 450, and you've got wastegate, you've got fuel pressure regulator. There's just, the list goes on and on and on. It's gonna be an insanely expensive project, but it's gonna be 100% worth it. Phase four. I should point out that we don't have access to E85 in the UK, so I'm gonna be running on 99 octane, which is the US equivalent of 93 octane. Some of you might think that with the parts that I'm putting into the engine, I should be able to make more than 600 wheel horsepower, which is true, but also I can't run on a E85, so I'm trying to be a little bit more conservative. So yeah, it's gonna cost probably over 20,000 pounds, and it's gonna be a slow project due to the cost. Obviously, I've gotta buy a daily car as well at some point because I can't continue to daily a car like that. Well, how can I drive the car if the engine's out? The point is, <laughs> it's gonna probably take me to 2024, but maybe less, maybe more. We'll just have to find out on the way. So subscribe to the channel and follow along. Follow along the journey. It's gonna be a f***ing wild ride. So I've said in a previous video that I'm an absolute beginner at this stuff. Um, it's gonna be really a, a huge, huge project that I'm taking on now for myself. Although I'm an apprentice engineer, it's nothing to do with cars. Um, and although it is mechanical, 
again, it is nothing to do with the engines. So I'm hoping the mistakes that I make or the challenges that I come across um, are going to be things that you don't have to deal with. I'm definitely going to be going over this in absolute minute, intricate detail. Um, you will be able to see every step of the way so that if you do want to do it yourself, you're going to be able to do it just by watching these videos. Of course, there are things that I won't be able to do myself. Um, uh, you know, I, I might have to get some things fabricated and I definitely can't tune it myself. So there are going to be things that you're going to have to let other people do, but for the most part it's going to be me and me asking a lot of questions to other people. Um, uh, you know, I've made some friends already over at the forums and, and other places and I'm hoping that at some point anyone else who's watching is going to be able to help me along the way as well. So with that said, you don't want to miss this. This is going to be a really cool project. I can't wait to get started. It's going to be a long process. Um, it's not going to be something that I can do overnight. There's going to be a lot of money put into this uh, that I've obviously got to save up over the years. So I'm guessing that the project might be finished in three or four years. I hope maybe sooner. Who knows? But um, I would, you know, I would love for you to come along, and subscribe, and and check out what I'm doing here because uh, I think it's going to be really cool. The car community is something really special to me and really special to a lot of other people and I'm hoping to give something back by doing what I'm doing here and, and showing every single step so that others can benefit from it. <sighs> yeah! I think that the next video I'm going to upload is suspension. I have already ordered the BC coilovers. There might be some really short videos sometimes uh, including, you know, how to clean the MAF sensor and, and just really like simple stuff that, uh, you know, I feel like might be of some value, but be patient. There are going to be bigger and smaller things along the way. I appreciate everyone who's subscribed so far, you know, I've barely started really doing major stuff on YouTube like this and I've already got over 600 subscribers. It's crazy you know i know it doesn't sound like a lot but it is a lot to me so i really appreciate that thank you anyway thanks again for watching um like and subscribe and comment let me know your thoughts and share if you think anyone else is going to benefit from this and i'll see you in the next video Bye. I, I don't know what that outro was anyway okay bye <laughs>